Hello YouTube, it is Tuesday and want to bring you a layout that is of my dog, well it's actually London's dog, Lucy, and this is actually a Christmas layout using my Make a Kit Monday from Dear Lizzie and I did that November 17th. And so, not traditional Christmas colors by any means, but it is nonetheless a Christmas layout. So, I just pulled everything from my kit that I made, and I only added a couple of things. So, let's see. Um, oh, I did fussy cut out this banner from one of the cut-aparts. Sorry, I'm off frame there a little. And I just have really been into banners and tags and things like that lately. In fact, I've got some ideas swimming in my head of new layouts I'm going to create. I guess I'm trying to get the little details done. <laughs> Sorry about that. I worry so much about being um, close up because it's so hard to see when you're not close up that sometimes I get out of frame. Those layouts that are far away, I can't see half of what they're doing, so I like to zoom in. <laughs> and I do think I end up going with this more subtle background. I've been into that lately. And I'm just layering some of the pieces here, trying to come up with a, oh yeah, it's more like a grid design. I remember now what I did. And those colors are very chartreuse, I guess is probably the best word to use. And so I do end up pulling in some of my Heidi Swap chartreuse ink when I decide to ink. And I did get me some score pal score tape for um, when it was on sale for Black Friday. I was basically totally out of tape. I was down to my last little bit of even the dot runner. And so I've gone through so much adhesive because I haven't been buying any that I was like desperate. And one of my lovely subbies sent me a note that said, they were having a sale at ScorePal and to go get some for Black Friday. So I did, and it came like within two days. I was shocked. So I'm excited. It's the little things, isn't it? <laughs> so I am going to do a couple of layouts and then I'm going to make up another kit. Hopefully this time I won't lose the video. Uh -huh. I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, yeah, I, oh, it, I did end up saving that. It didn't want to stamp because I guess it was on that edge, and so. The Merry Christmas that you see at the top is just a wood veneer that you get at Michael's. It's one of the recollections, I guess, or just Michael's brand. And... One of the pins that I use is by Jubilee, my mind's eye. And then I added the Dear Lizzie, the Scotty Dog wood veneer. But I kept this one pretty simple. It went really quick, and so not very long of a video. In fact, I've disappeared. Where have I gone? Oh, I know, I'm grabbing my chartreuse by Heidi Swap. There we go. Just adding a little bit of that. I think I bring in that pin, maybe? Oh, here we go. I'm adding Lucy's name. <laughs> I forgot about that. American Craft Thickers in Doll. And that was kind of a yellowy green as well. So it matched very well. And we always get her a little stocking with a bone. 
or maybe a toy. I don't know where I got those enamel dots. They were just loose in my stash. But that Jubilee pin just matched perfect. So that does it. That finishes the layout. I hope you enjoyed it. And I know that I don't really do traditional colors for Christmas very often, but I appreciate you watching and hopefully it will inspire you to do something different with your Christmas layouts. If you are on Facebook, you can check me out on the Pretty Paper page and please join that group. If you like the video, please thumbs up so YouTube knows and I appreciate all of you. You can find me on Pinterest as Tuesday Hubbard and also on Instagram as True Lane. Talk to you later. Bye.